Hello, Jermaine here. In the last video where we left off was um, we added the capability of being able to make edits to our bookmarks and um, as well as um, being able to add um, new bookmarks. In this video in particular, we're going to refactor the solution we have. And then um, also we're al also going to add um, form validation because at the moment, um, if you click update, it adds a new bookmark, even though um, there isn't any information in there. Let's get started. Let's separate the concern of editing and creating um, new bookmarks into its own component. So um, with this form here, um, let's create a new component um, that will contain this form. The main reason being that um, there is a, there's quite a lot of um, things happening in this component here. So it would be a good idea um, to have this form managed by its own component and then we um, put the component in here. So let's do that now. In our libsource directory, um, we'll create a new folder, call it BM form for bookmark form. And then we'll create a new file there called bookmark form component dot dot. Okay, we'll start by importing Angular and we're also going to import Angular forms. And then we'll start by declaring our component annotation and the selector will be an element selector bm hyphen form and then we will define our template url which will be bm underscore form underscore component dot html we're going to create that soon and then let's declare the directives we need here so we need a core directives and then we need a form directives next what we'll do is to um, create a class for our component a class would be called um, bookmark form component like this and let's save this and then create our html file so this component is going to house our form so i'm going to come back to our scaffold component and i'm going to cut out this form and then i'll paste this form in here and then what i will do is i'll save both files which at the minute will break everything so then what we'll do is we'll come to our BM scaffold component and then at the top we want to import our form component and then we'll pass it in here as a directive. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to go back to our BM scaffold component template and then we are going to declare our directive here. So let's see what this looks like. And we test it out okay at the moment nothing displays okay let's look at our terminal of course we'll get some exceptions thrown yeah because we've got some variables that we're using that are not defined yet so that means we've copied the template over but then we need to copy some of these methods over so let's take a look over here so for example we need access to edited bookmark and this bookmark a variable as well so then essentially what we need to do is to expose our bookmark item to this component and the way we do that is um, if we come back to our bookmark form component dot, dot uh, we need to implement one of Angular's lifecycle methods, and um, which is on init, then we need to override that. And the signature for that is future. It's a future returning now. And then we have ng. Then the name of the interface that we are implementing ng on init. And then we mark it as async. And then with the opening closing curly brackets. The next thing we need to do is to declare the bookmarks we're going to be working with so I will import our bookmark model and then um, one of our instance properties will be the bookmark we're going to be feeding to this component and then the second instance property we need is our edited bookmark so the copy of this bookmark that we're going to make our edits on. So then which means that with this uh, method, um, ng on init, this method runs after this um, 
once this component is um, created, instantiated essentially. So what we're going to do is once um, this component is initialized, we are going to copy all our bookmark details um, to our edited bookmark. So it will be bookmark and then do something along the lines of title, bookmark, title, and we'll do the same for description and the URL. And let's save this. So now we need to find a way how to um, pass our bookmark item to this component. And the way Angular allows us to do that is by using an annotation called input. And what this essentially does is we are annotating this instance variable. And what that means is that we're able to now come to our component and then bind our bookmark property in here to the bookmark item. So let's save this and let's reload and test it. Okay, we still have some errors, which let's see, okay, get are not defined. Um, the methods remove bookmark isn't defined for our class bookmark from component. Okay, so let's define all these methods so if we come back here, there is an update bookmark and there is a remove bookmark. And let's see what other methods we need to define here. Yeah, just think it's update and remove. Let's see if the errors are gone. Okay, this getter i is not defined. So let's search for dollar i. Right, okay. So let's get rid of that. And let's save. Okay, succeeded. Let's reload. Okay, and we're back. So let's click on edit. And there we go. We have our details passed into the form. So if I inspect this page, we can see that we're using our BM hyphen form component. Now, what we need to do is to implement our update, our update bookmark. So what that looks like is in our update bookmark method, we will assign the updates made on our ed edited bookmark um, to um, this bookmark item. So we've done that for the title. We need to do it for the description and we need to do it for the URL. And also we need to set our edit mode to false. So let's save that. And let's give that a go. Okay, there we go. That works. At this point, I've decided um, to um, do a little bit of refactoring um, to this bookmark model. Because um, if you notice, we're doing a lot of um, destructuring, essentially, um, the bookmark model and then reassigning it again. So instead of doing this, having to do this over and over again, I thought um, instead of doing this, why not um, let our model um, be able to handle that? So we'll come back to our bookmark.dart file. And then what we'll do here is define a method called update, which takes in a bookmark object and um, we'll update our instance will update these um, with the details from this bookmark that we give it so it will be title is bookmark.title and i'll do the same for description url in our edit mode and once we've done that we can therefore come back to our form component and make the necessary changes or well, we can do that create a new bookmark then we can update it with our bookmark. Um, so here we're using um, the cascade operator, which essentially allows us to chain on methods. And um, after all of this is evaluated, it still returns an instance of bookmark. So not doing this because um, this is now void, but using the cascade um, allows us to invoke methods um, including getters and setters on our objects and um, while 
at the same time um, returning the instance, the full instance. So um, after all of this, um, it still returns a bookmark object. Okay, and then um, we can do that here as well. So we do bookmark. We'll update our bookmark. Our edited bookmark object, and yeah, we also need to set edit mode to false. So let's see what that looks like. Uh, in fact, I think I can do that. Yeah. Okay, so let's test this out. So download today. And then, yep, we've got our update there. Perfect. And then, um, so what happens if we cancel? Yep, of course, nothing happens. What happens if we click to delete? It's not removing. So let's um, implement our bookmark removal functionality. So it's pretty interesting um, how we proceed um, to doing this because um, we don't have um, access to um, our list of bookmarks. So we can't use um, this bookmarks variable, which contains the whole list of bookmarks um, to remove um, um, the actual item we want. So what this uh, framework gives us is um, the ability to emit custom events and then uh, we respond to it some way, somehow. The way we go about implementing these custom events um, is by using streams. So what we'll do here is we'll import the Dart async library, which contains a stream controller. So we'll declare a stream controller here, and then we'll call it form delete control, which gives us a stream controller, which will assign a stream controller object and then um, we need access to the stream. So we stream.get and then uh, we'll create a getter called form delete and then it will be the stream controller's stream. And in order for this um, to work with Angular, uh, we, we need to use another annotation uh, called output. And then in output, we'll define um, the name of the essentially the custom attribute that would um, capture this um, emitted stream essentially. So we'll call it on delete, which means that for us now, um, under remove bookmark, we will emit our event. And the way we we'll emit it is to call the add method on our, on our stream controller. And then we'll pass in null here. So as far as this part goes, um, we're good to go. And all we need to do is to come to our scaffold component template and then right over here our bm form declaration we are going to define our custom event so we called it on delete and then once this custom event is emitted um, we're going to um, call our remove bookmark method and then we need to pass dollar i so let's save that and let's go back to our scaffolding component to make sure that we've got yeah we've got our method here and also we can get rid of these two now and then i'll save this and let's test it out so if i click on edit click on delete and it removes awesome so now we should be able to um, amend well not amend uh, we should be able to refactor this component method a bit more so with add bookmark we'll get rid of all of all of these and then essentially it would just be bookmarks add new bookmark so let's test all of this out so if i go to add bookmark you can add title flutter and then we click update which updates it edit um, let's cancel that that's fine and it should be able to delete it okay that's good and then um, looking at our console now we have an error here all right so i deleted um, the edit bookmark method um, in here which i didn't need to so i'll just re-implement that quickly so it's edit bookmark which takes in an index and then what we need to do is for our bookmarks we need to set edit mode to true so let's save this that should fix our error okay perfect so let's try this again. If I click on edit, 
edit mode is set to true and then cause we're able to update it and clicking it should take us to the website cool that's good go back i hope all of this is making sense um of course if it's um if anything um, it's not making sense do let me know in the comments down below and also i'll post a link to the source code so um, you should be able to look through the source code and hopefully just um, figure things out for yourself okay so at this point our refactorings should be good to go and what we need to do now is to implement um, validation for the forms because at the moment if it we click add the bookmark and then we click update it adds an empty bookmark essentially so it would be nice to have some uh, validation um, centered around um, some of these fields at least with the title and url so any attempt to update um, will uh, flag up any errors if there are 